Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be covering a topic in Battle Wars about final kills for the stock. Now, it is not real stat that is shown on that NPC or websites, and in most people, FKR is way more important than FKSSS. Most newcomers to Battle Wars only manage to get a few final kills, and usually they have very few final kills for stock, but it is fine for them. If you play for fun, please don't feel insulted by this, because it shouldn't mean anything to you. And if you play Dreams, combine all of the final kills from your Dream Mode statistics and add it to your overall. If you're wondering how to get the most final kills per star, the first thing you should can do is turn off questing. If you don't have MVP Plus and use auto quest all the time, you are gonna have to turn it off. Even if you have it on other game modes besides Bed Wars. Now, unlike most high pixel sweats, I am actually a non rank. If you want to know another way to get high final kills per star, it is by solo queuing. It will lower your low win slash loss ratio significantly because you will lose a lot, but you will still get more final kills per star because the odds of your teammates taking the final kills are unlikely. Make sure you dodge the parties until you can win consistently against other solo queuers, otherwise, you are almost guaranteed to lose the game. The reason why solo queuing is effective for final kills per star is because it gives 10% less experience than you are <laughs> than when you are playing in a party. So solo queuing isn't effective for leveling up. Winning at solo slash double games will down your final kills per star if you have more than 50 per star, due to it giving 100 XP per win, unlike threes and fours which only give you 50 per win or 25 and 4v4. Here is a chart showing final kills per star. Your final kill count is in dark red. That means your final kill count is really low compared to the average Bad Wars player. If it is in red, it is less than average. But you are in hopes of catching up. And the average Bad Wars player is in orange. Keep in mind that the more stars you have, the more FK slash S you should have too. This means that if you are 50 stars with 30 final kills per star, then kept playing up until a thousand stars and still only have 30 final kills per star, you would have not improved at all. Especially compared to the average pet player. playing. If you are in the yellow zone, you are doing a bit better than average. If you are in the lime or green zone, keep it up, you're doing good. If you're in the aqua or blue zone, you are really good at the game and getting a lot of final kills. Now, if you are in the dark blue or purple zone, you are so good, you are above a lot of players and are unstoppable. Very few people are in the pink zone, but they are gods of the game and obliterate anyone who stands in their way. I am 157 stars with 11,706 final kills. And if I calculate that, I get 74.56 final kills per star. So we can just round it up to 75, which puts me in the dark blue zone, meaning that I am far above the average. Notice that when you prestige, especially if you're level 100, your kiss slash S will decrease significantly due to needing less XP for the first four levels of the prestige. So if you want to know the exact amount of final kills per star you have, Subtract 2.8 from your star count for every 100 stars you have after 4. If you have 50 FK slash S, you are automatically good at the game. No matter what star level you are. Remember, none of the stats in better to measure skill, and there is always a way to grind them without being good at the game. You do not need to have a high final kill per star ratio to be good at Bed Wars. Remember that Bed Wars is all about having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and peace out. See. Hmm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I still got a final. Ah, I still got a final. Alright, let's win this game. I swear if I still somehow manage to lose, I'm gonna actually be so sad. I'm gonna throw my attack and I'm not gonna throw my attack.
because I don't have another one to use anyway, so yeah. But, like, once I do have another one to use, like, somehow, and somehow I still decide to use this one, I will eventually just throw, you know. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Whoa! Whoa, whoa! That hit me? I couldn't deflect that one. That was very strange. Maybe that one was a bit too close to be deflected, you know. This is, this is like a little house. <laughs> yeah.